Uh, welcome to Wiring Cable. So I want to talk a little bit about cable and how to identify it and its, its handling capacities and, and how we use it and, and all kinds of information about it. So wire. Wire, most people just say wire and they mean anything that carries electricity. Um, and that's not really true, right? Wire only has a single conductor. There's only one piece of copper inside of the jacket. There aren't multiples, right? And that uh, single, and then with a single layer of insulation, usually has a plastic or a PVC insulation around it, and then a little nylon jacket on top of that that just makes it slippery, so it's easy to handle. Um, and um, it's either solid or sometimes it has just a few strands, like 19 strands of wire inside of it. It could have copper on the inside. Sometimes building wire has aluminum, right? And, and wire is not nearly, it's, it is bendable, but it is not flexible. I can bend it into whatever shape that I want, however it's going to hold that shape. Right? So if you look at the picture in the lower right side, you can see like this red wire has been, the end of it has been bent in such a way, so as the black wire and even the green wire have been bent into a shape and they hold that shape. Now I can bend it into another shape, but it's going to hold that shape. Wire is very much designed for permanent installations. And that's not typically what we do in the theater. In the theater, we do temporary installations. We put a show in and we run it for a short period of time and then we take it all down and we put in another one. So we need something other than wire. And what we use in the theater is cable. Cable has m multiple conductors, right? Each one is insulated from each other, but then all three of them are wrapped in another jacket. So if you were to look at a piece of stage pin cable, this is what you would see, a black jacket with a, a three-pronged stage pin connector on one end and then a, 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 a plug on the other end, a connector and a plug, um, right? And so these jackets, instead of being plastic, um, tend to be made of neoprene or rubber, which is much more flexible than plastic. And in addition to that, inside the individual conductors are now many, 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 many fine, small strands of copper, right? And so these multiple strands of copper make this cable much more flexible, right? So I have a flexible jacket, I now have flexible wire in there, and I also, oftentimes, you'll find there's like a powder in there that acts as a lubricant so that these different conductors can sort of slide across one another as I am uh, using the cable, right? So this is designed for a temporary installation. I can put it up and I can take it down, put it up and take it down. And all sorts of cable does that. Microphone cable, extension cable, stage pin cable, right? So the difference between uh, cable and wire is that cable has multiple conductors and um, and is flexible versus wire which has a single conductor and often is not very flexible. So let's take a look, right? So, uh, right? So uh, like I had said, it's each one of the individual um, conductors, right? And in this cable there are three. And each one has their own separate color-coded jacket. And there can be more than three. You can see that this one actually has four and then they have this copper filling or um, cardboard paper filling that's inside of here. But I have a green wire, a black wire, and a white wire, which I would expect, but then also a red wire, right? And so the jacket has very specific properties and the individual installation all have very specific properties. And we'll talk about the properties of cable here in our next little short video.